Hi, this is your host, Swapan Bharti, and we are here at the Virtual Open Mainframe Summit. And today we have with us two guests from Broadcom, Jesse Lane Punong Beyond, Senior R&D Software Engineer, and Rachel Ann Crow, Senior Software Engineer. First of all, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks. If you look at COBOL, it has been around for almost 60 years, but it's still relevant. Uh, so talk a bit about why is it still important to talk about COBOL in today's cloud native world? You know, COBOL is an important part of our everyday lives. When you withdraw your money or when you deposit um, something in a bank, you call a COBOL program. Or when you apply for a loan, you also call a COBOL program. And not everybody knows about this. And that's why it is important for us to talk about COBOL today. So that our generation and the next generation before us would be aware that COBOL is pretty much part of our everyday lives. Yes, I agree with that. And it's also not well known that how much COBOL has really adopted throughout all these years. The language behind these COBOL applications may not have changed, but the tool set surrounding COBOL development has definitely evolved, especially now with, with Zoe. The possibilities have really grown exponentially. So because of our career experience, we have been witnesses to how much this has changed. And that's really what we want to talk about in our session. Right, because if you look at modern developers, everybody wants to talk about the new shiny uh, language, new shiny tools. So, so what Zoe is doing is kind of making these you know, technologies is still appealing to the modern developers. Yes, so modernization is technically a very important aspect in mainframe development. And you know, there are a lot of mainframers too that prefers this old terminals as well. And some new generations of joining mainframe prefer this new shiny modern toolset. And Zoe um, is catering to that preferences. So they provide, Zoe provides modern toolset and modern UIs for a new generation. But at the same time, it doesn't take away the terminals that other, other experienced mainframers prefer. So, so yeah, that like, you have in Zoe. You have a choice of toolset that you wanted to use. Because uh, this this is mainframe. You know, uh, despite what people say, as you are rightly saying that uh, all those critical mission, critical business transaction, that's that's where they happen. So that it will still be a critical piece of our infrastructure. So we continue to uh, to attract new developers to to continue to work on on those technologies. Uh, if you look at uh, this event, first of all, tell us a bit about uh, your session. What are you presenting at the event? We have um, three sessions. One session is about Cobble and the modern mainframe movement, where Rochelle and I will talk about our experience as a Cobble developer. And the other session is um, keeping up with the times. Um, using Zoe as a modern mainframe developer. So jumping from COBOL to a modern modern experience, um, we are going to talk about that. And the, then the last one is our virtual hackathon, which which is about uh, the, the hackathon project that we have that for new generations. I will talk about the sessions a bit more, but I quickly want to talk about you too also because you will be the face there. Uh, when and why you got involved with, with, the, with the project uh, instead of looking at the next shiny language that was out there? What, what attracted you towards the project? Well, personally for me, uh, I've been just a mainframe developer in the first 10 years of my career. And when I discovered this Zoe and the open mainframe project, it, it's a game changer. It's, just, it's the same technology that I'm familiar with, but now I can incorporate all these other modern tool sets, all these other tools. And it's, it's an exciting time now to be a mainframer because when I look back, I can see uh, this is how I would have used Zoe in my previous lives and this is how I'm using it now. So to me, that's, that's exciting. Jesse, can you share your, your experience? I, 
similar to Rachel, I, I I agree with her. When when I saw Zoe, when I have when I learned about Zoe, I immediately thought like what are the things that I could innovate or I could invent um through Zoe with this the pure mainframe background that I have, what are the things that I could improve? And that's what's exciting about this modern modernization project that Open Mainframe provides. Earlier this year, Zoe hosted its first ever virtual hackathon for the developer community. Your team, Team Puzzle, was the winner of the hackathon. What inspired you to do that project? This Zoe Out is the project that we are presenting, and it's what we built on top of Zoe. I think that's the beauty of Zoe. It's a framework that you can really cater to your needs, build on top of, and customize. So this Zoe Out is uh, because of our inspired work in, in Zoe, our creativity really was stoked. So we imagined our mainframes and games compatible. And so the answer to that is this uh, interactive learning experience. So we are all learners. We're learning this new technology. Some new mainframers are learning about mainframe and working with ZOS. And so this is just really a fun way to learn about all these technologies. And since it's, it's, it's virtual, uh... Which also means that, you know, unlike physical event, I mean, there's pros and cons of physical event. The beauty of virtual event is that anyone from anywhere in the globe can attend it. You know, you don't have to travel. You don't have to worry about visa and all those things. So do you also see that the, the kind of, you know, attendance will be higher than uh, usual? I hope so. I mean, we have prepared a lot of educational sessions that I believe a lot of people would enjoy. So, and so I do hope that there are a lot of attendees for this summit. Yeah, because people don't have to worry about, you know, going, they can just be at their home and still attend it at their leisure. Uh, so uh, you, you, you're attending, uh, you're, you're kind of, you know, presenting a lot of sessions there. What do you, each of you, I, this is question for each of you, is that what would be the key takeaways from your sessions? For me, I, I could answer first. The main key takeaway that I have that I have for everybody is that mainframe is moving to a different direction. And this direction is what we call this mainframe modernization. And as an attendee, what I would like for you to have is this awareness that there are tools that can help in providing better solutions for mainframe. And all of us are learning from each other. So if you if you are interested in this one, then just try it out. Just investigate what it is and learn from, from, from this summit. In, in a similar way, I, I think the main, my main focus is really to find out what other open source tools that I can use in my day-to-day -day life. I think my main takeaway would be to just embrace this openness and this, all these open source tools and continually improve myself, learn more, learn from the other speakers and learn from this um, executives even uh, with their keynotes. So for me, it's, I just am excited to learn. Uh, Jesse, Rochelle, thank you so much for taking your time out today and, and talking to me about the summit. Uh, it's virtual, but I still, uh, I'm, I'm sh as I said earlier, I think it will have more audience because people can just watch it from wherever they want. Uh, I'm, I'm personally looking forward to attending the event, so I'll be seeing you there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.